Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your 2016 yearly overviews. Um, this reading is for Leo for 2016. Um, we are looking at one card for each month to give us the, the general energy of each month. Um, and then one oracle card to serve as our overall energy of 2016. And uh, one oracle card to serve as overall advice for Leos for 2016. Okay, so thank you very much for being here with me. Um, and I'm just going to get right in it in into it. Um, it looks like 2016 will be about balance for you and about restoring flow, whatever that means for you. Um, we have two number two cards and the lovers card, so your partnership. Uh, partnerships will be um, highlighted this year in um, in a w in a certain way. Um, it can be romantic partnerships. Um, it will also refer for a lot of you uh, to business partnerships. Okay, but um, there is a need for balance. Number two talks about balance and give and take. Okay, um, let's just get into it and see what uh, we come up with. January, you start January and 2016 with the Six of Wands and that is a great card, that is the card of victory. Okay, so you start the year with a great victory. With people looking at you, um, admiring you for your um, rewards, for who you are, for your hard work. This is advancement, this is promotion, this is the end of obstacles, the end of delays. This is your reputation, uh, either getting better or reaching more and more people. Um, this is you being in the spotlight um, because of all your hard work, because of your work ethics, okay? Um, or because of your principles, this can be personal accomplishments, okay? Um, in whichever area of life this applies to for you, this is a general reading, a very general reading, so please bear that in mind. It will be something different for everybody, so um, just take the message that resonates with you, okay, because that is um, what is meant for you in this reading. So with the Six of Wands, it is a card of victory. So again, this could be advancement, promotion, this could be winning something, being awarded something um, for your hard work as a professional or as a person or as a partner. Okay, um, And this is definitely moving forward, being celebrated for who you are, again as a person or as a professional um, or any other capacity you may have. Okay, um, And it is feeling a sense of pride and contentment for where you have uh, come and all the hard work you've put in to get here and you feeling proud okay with who you are so enjoy this victory it is definitely earned and definitely to be celebrated and made a big deal for February we have the Knight of Swords. Um, with the Knight of Swords, if this is a person, it can be an energy you're dealing with or a person that you're dealing with. If this is a person, this will most likely be an air sign, um, a Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarius. Um, and this is someone who's very impetuous, very impatient. They want what they want and they want um, they want that when they want that. Um, this is someone who's very stubborn, uh, very headstrong. Um, they will get where they want to get with or without you. Okay, so it's best to get out of their way. You cannot reason with this person. They have made up their, their mind and now they're charging ahead. So um, if this is a person you're dealing with, just remember that you cannot speak to them at this time. Um, they're blinded by their own um, objectives and goals and drive 
okay they will not hear you um, and the best thing to do is just get out of their way okay and wait for a time when they calm down for you to speak to them um, if this is an energy that you're dealing with this is again very quick paced energy this is a lot of things happening um, all at the same time it could be a bit confusing you're not quite sure what's going on because so much is changing at all at the same time and very very quickly um, there may be disagreements there may be arguments because of misunderstandings because communication is so fast that people don't even have time to process it correctly um, so be aware of that be aware that this may be the energy that surrounds you in February and try to stay grounded and to be logical and don't let emotions um, interfere okay with your um, perspective on things and people and with the way you interpret um, the information you receive okay but it is a night okay so that is new energy and things moving forward okay so um, the only thing with the knight of swords it can be that he has not completely thought things through okay so c there could be some um, going back and forth in February okay because um, something will happen and then uh, you realize you didn't have all the information you didn't have all the details something changes and then it moves forward again and then it still needs some things added to it and so on and so forth okay but as long as you stay grounded again very logical rational you will be able to make the best use of this energy okay March we have the two of swords and the two of swords talks about an impasse it talks about some kind of crossroads that you're at um, it can be a standstill okay this is a situation where you have to make a choice that you really don't want to make um, this could be procrastination happening in March either throughout the month or at a certain time um, but it is significant for you okay um, this can be you trying to resolve a situation or trying to come up with a solution and there is someone else involved who has their own ideas okay it can be that it is the knight of swords and he or she has calmed down now and is not as stubborn and impetuous and you can talk to them okay and you do a lot of talking but you can't seem to agree on a way to move forward so you're at a at a standstill um, with it is a two okay so it talks about the need for balance so whatever situation you're dealing with in March especially involving another person um, uh, y there is a need for you to reach a compromise that is the only way you will move forward bear in mind that you will not get a hundred percent what you want and they will not get a hundred percent what they want in this situation so you can either make a compromise and get 50 50 or both of you get zero and nothing happens nothing moves forward and it only gets worse okay so it can be that type of situation that type of energy um, alternatively this is you need to find a balance between your head and your heart okay you need to make them speak to each other in harmony it can be something you really want to do but your heart is telling you that it's not right for you and you really want to move forward with it but at the same time because your heart isn't in it it doesn't come together somehow so again you need to go within um, meditate reflect on the situation reflect on yourself why you want to do that why doesn't it feel right try to find a middle ground okay to to progress that situation whatever decision you have to make where you uh, have to choose between two two things two people two situations two jobs um, you may not want to make that choice but again it is necessary for you to make a choice and move forward don't procrastinate you will only make it worse okay um, and the key is to do what feels 
right and do what is in harmony with who you are. Okay? April, we have the Four of Swords. We have a few sword cards. So that's telling me that either this will be a, a year where you have where you will be logical or this is a year where you have to be logical to move things forward okay so april with the four of swords um is telling me that you're taking a time out you are detaching yourself from a situation taking a breath working on your well-being on your spirituality um even on your health okay um, this is putting up boundaries, <coughs> putting up boundaries so that you give what you are willing to give of, of yourself and you say stop when people try to take more from you than it is healthy. Okay, so when you give, you can help people. only until you start to give away pieces of yourself at that point you're no longer really helping them and you are hurting yourself in the process okay so i'm seeing you realize this or something similar and putting up a wall putting up some boundaries what you will and will not do what you will and will not put up with you're very focused on being stable and secure you're very focused on your foundation on your health and well-being mental emotional physical and you're really working hard at recharging your batteries feeling happy and healthy and refreshed and you understand that for that to happen it is necessary for you to put up boundaries and stick to them okay so i'm seeing april as a very calm time for you because you choose it to be okay and your health is improving and your health is getting better may sees the king of wands and i see this as being yourself okay after these difficulties and impasses you have taken the time to find yourself okay you've reflected on yourself who you are, where you want to be, what you don't want in your life anymore. And by May time, I really feel like you find yourself again. Your self-confidence, your inner strength. You go back to who you are. Okay, you're very creative, very inspired this month, very intuitive. Listen to your intuition, listen to your gut. It will tell you where to go. It will tell you what is good for you, what is right what you should move forward with, what you need to pull back on. Um, this is also telling me that you will be successful in business at this time because again, you will be very inspired and you will know when to take a chance and when to walk away from um, a situation and offer a job. So you will be successful, prosperous, I would say write down any ideas you get because you will have a lot of ideas at this time and it's important that you write them down to um, organize them to see what ideas you put energy behind and when. This could be a time when you travel to foreign land even. Okay, this is a very lucky time for you I'm told. Um, so take a chance take a gamble comes up obviously don't gamble away your savings or anything like that but like playing the lot the the um, sorry the lotto or any kind of draws things like that can bring you um, winnings some of them can be quite significant Okay, so definitely, definitely listen to your intuition at this time. June sees the Eight of Wands. So with the Eight of Wands, it, it's telling me that everything is happening for you, all at the same time. Okay, this is very quick. 
action, very quick communication, unexpected good news. Um, this could be unexpected travel happening for you, for work or personal projects. This could be a personal business uh, taking off the ground at this time and growing very rapidly. So keep putting the energy behind it. Keep listening to your gut. Um, this is unexpected approvals, unexpected yeses, unexpected green lights. Or you were expecting them, but just not this quickly. Okay, this is you being very focused, very driven. You get the green light and you go with it. Okay, so you are able to take advantage of very many opportunities in June. Whatever you touch is taking off the ground. Okay, so I would say focus your energy on a handful of endeavors. Don't spread your potential thin to the point where you don't really accomplish anything because you've tried to do a hundred things at the same time or t or to expand a hundred things at the same time. Focus on five, six, eight and those will take off and expand very very quickly. Okay? So this is the end of delays, the end of obstacles, the end of procrastination, the end of self-doubt maybe. Your confidence is coming back. Your inner strength is at a high. You see potential. You know how to expand it and make it a reality and make it a prosperous situation and that is exactly what you're doing in June. July sees the two of pentacles. Okay, so we have another two. So again, this talks about balance. And this talks about the need to make a choice. Um, it can be that a lot of projects take off for you and it is now time to choose which one you want to um, further, you want to progress, or which two of them you can progress at the same time and just focus on the two. This may also be a time when you need to balance work life and, and home life and family life. It can be that work life is taking off and you may find yourself spending more, more time at the office than you do at home and, it, and the card is coming in to let you know that you need to find a balance between the, th the two Sorry, because your family needs you too. Um, this could be a time where a lot of you f um, may find yourself choosing between two job offers two projects, two contracts, two people even for some of you. Please take your time, look at the details because whatever you choose now will have long-term effects in, in, in your life. And I'm not saying there is a right choice and a wrong choice. They're both right for you. You just need to listen to your intuition as to which one is more in harmony with who you are. Okay? August, we have the Four of Pentacles. So some of you are saving money at this time. Some of you are doing quite well and are able to put some money aside. Some of you are able to invest at this time. And with the Four of Pentacles, it's telling you to not be rigid and don't hold back and don't be afraid of spending your money or don't be afraid of investing your money. As long as you do your studying and you have a firm grasp on the details of that situation or that business you want to invest in, then go ahead and invest it and believe that you're doing the right thing and you will get the return that you hope for. Okay, because you will. Um, this is a time when you manage your resources very carefully, very well. Na that can be resources of money, time, energy, emotion, whatever that is. You're focused on foundations, being strong, being firm, being stable. 
so again you're focused on the on on the balance in everything make sure there is give and take make sure um, you are spending enough time with family enough time with friends enough time at work enough time with yourself and focusing on yourself So this is a very stable time for you, okay? And uh, money coming in. And it's okay for you to invest, it's okay for you to spend that money, okay? You deserve to pamper yourself at this time. September, we have the Five of Wands. So with the Five of Wands, The usual meaning of the card is a, c a, com a competition, a, a competitive situation. Um, for some of you, it can be that. It can be that you're working in a competitive environment. For others, this could talk about training, um, on the job training. So it could be you've chosen a new job with the Two of Pentacles. You are mastering that job, what you need for it, how to do that job um, the best way you can and so your finances are increasing and with the five of wands you could be getting additional training additional qualifications to go with that job um, for a lot of you I'm seeing this as you are taking your business and presenting it to the world okay you're taking your your business or your personal project or whatever it is that you're investing your time, effort, and skills and talents in, you're going one step further and you're presenting it to the world. It's like you're putting it, putting it up for a bid. It's like you're looking for someone to invest in your business. Okay? But you are headed towards prosperity. So definitely believe in yourself believe in your talents and your skills and your abilities because you will have offers coming in either for partnerships or for just investment or support of any kind for you in in this endeavor okay so that is success coming in for you October there you go the nine of Pentacles the Nine of Pentacles is a card um, that talks about rewards coming in for you. And this is a card of the self-made man or the self-made woman. So you've taken your business and presented it to the world, your skills, your talents. Someone has come in and invested in it. And now you're starting to see the rewards of that action. Okay, this is money increasing, stabilizing. Your financial situation is definitely improving. And again, still it's stabilizing. It's no longer up and down. It's very stable. And news continues to come in and money continues to come in. So if this is in work, that's what's going on. If this is in love, then it's just letting you know that um, this is a great time for love. Someone is just around the corner. You may meet someone very, very soon that will meet your expectations and give you a prosperous emotional life. Alternatively, this is a time that you spend on yourself, on pampering yourself. This is a time where you spend on what makes you happy. This is a time of luxury. So it could be that you're shopping a lot of clothes or shoes or anything for your personal appearance or anything that has to do with the luxury that you live in or the luxury that you want. Okay, but it is richness, luxury, enjoyment. You spoil yourself at this time and rightfully so. November, we have the High Priestess. And I'm seeing this as you are learning new things or you're learning things on a new level. 
on a deeper level. You're perfecting a craft or a talent or a skill. Okay, and that's another two we have. So this is balance coming in for you. Stability coming in for you. Okay, in November. And it's coming in with a lot of new information about yourself, about what you can do that adds to your personal power and your confidence. You are seeing new things in your future, in your own future. You are very spiritual at this time, again very intuitive, so pay attention to your intuition at this time, your dreams, um, wherever your mind wanders when you daydream, okay? what feels right, what doesn't, what you are guided towards, what you're attracted to at this time. I feel like there will be a lot of learning, a lot of knowledge coming in for you that will stabilize you in some way and bring you balance and harmony and increase your, your knowledge, expand your skills, your talents. It's like you're coming into your own at this time. You know who you are, what you can do, what you're capable of. And you feel very secure, okay? So new information and a lot of knowledge coming in for you in November. In which area of life this applies to you. December we have the lover's card. So it can be that you meet someone in December. It can be a Gemini person. It doesn't have to be. You meet someone with great potential to turn into a long-term partner or even a spouse. Um, this is the card of deep commitment. So it could be talks of moving in together, marriage, starting a family traveling together whatever it is for you it will be something different for everyone like I said it is a general reading and s and so um, not everyone is in the same place when it comes to their relationship or their love life if this is in work then it also talks about commitments and they come in the shape of contracts okay so read very carefully look at the details make sure you understand everything thoroughly before you sign anything um, but with all these cards in here you're definitely ready okay you have a knowledge and a wisdom okay so you're ready to sign any contracts um, and these will be written in your favor okay the terms of the contracts will be in your favor. So all you need to do is choose the right endeavor, choose the endeavor that feels like it's best for you. Okay? And commit to that one. Okay? Um the overall energy we have is the King of Michael. And the King of Michael says, Wisdom and objectivity are important now. Stay in your integrity. A situation that calls for honest and open communication. Okay, so he's reinforcing what we said about being logical this year, being rational, being clear on what it is that you want and you don't want. This is wisdom coming in for you that puts things into perspective. Okay? So this is a year uh, where you gain wisdom about yourself, about the situations that you're in and why you're in those situations and about how you can move forward and create in your life everything that you want to create. Okay? But this is a very rational energy, down to earth, practical, 
very objective you have clarity of mind and perspective this year okay so that's the main energy and then the overall advice for you for this year you have the fairy wishing well card and this is a card that talks about manifestation expectations and offerings and the overall advice for you because we have pentacles in this card and we have the well so I'm drawn to say pay attention to the flow of things this will be a very prosperous year for you provided you make the right choices and to make the right choices you have to stay in your integrity okay so in order to be um, prosperous this year and I mean financially make sure you understand the importance of flow the importance of give and take if you just give you will not have a balance and if you just take you will not have a balance in order to have a stable prosperous financial life it's important to have both elements of give and take okay so definitely focus on manifesting what it is you want to manifest and pay attention to your expectations and try to keep them in line with what you give to the world as opposed what what you give to the world make sure it's in line with what you expect from the world okay I think that's a beautiful message uh, so this is what I have for you um, Leo for 2016 I hope you have enjoyed this reading I hope you find insight um, in this reading um, you're gonna have to let me know if the cards apply to you um, that's gonna have to be as the year goes by uh, I hope you have an absolutely fabulous year thank you very much for being here with me and I will talk to you soon take care